I'm seeing a lot of advertisements out there where properties are going under contract in one or two days. And that seems great for the sellers, but it's not always best for the sellers. Here's an example to show you what I mean. Uh, let's say a property goes on the market active on Thursday, and that first day you already have two buyers that are offering at or above list with limited to no contingencies. However, they have an offer expiration of, or a deadline of Friday at noon, meaning the seller has to accept one of their offers by Friday at noon, or they're gonna pull them back and those offers won't be on the table anymore. Now, in a buyer's market where there's a lot of inventory and limited buyers, that very well may work and this might be best for the seller to go with them. But in a heavy seller's market like we're in now, the fact of the matter is, those buyers really don't have anywhere to go. Now, I can't guarantee that they're not gonna pull back their offer and walk away, but what I've seen is more often than not, they leave their uh, offer on the table even if you don't accept it by their deadline Friday at noon. So best case scenario for the sellers generally, and this is a case by case thing, but this is at least something for you to think about, is to leave your listing active through the weekend to get as many eyes on that property as possible, but to also create that sense of urgency for those buyers who already submitted that really want it to create an even stronger offer by your offer deadline on, let's say, Monday. Now, it may just be the case that you just wanna get this over. If you wanna accept those offers, and that's fine. It's good that you got great offers right off the bat. But for those of you that wanna really make the most out of your listing and get the most money you can, holding off to the end of the weekend might be in your best interest. If you have any questions, give me a call, 703-915-2244.